Okay, now I'm with the lovely Martin Yates. Now, the last time we spoke to Martin was when he released his single, Let Your Love, back in October. So, good afternoon, Martin. How are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? Yes, not too bad, as I say. Wishing the hairdressers were open again, but you know. <laughs> um, you and I both, believe me. <laughs> so, Martin, what have you been up to since October? So, we had the release of Let Your Love, which was like my first single back after probably about a year at that point. And then after the success of that, we got back into the studio, me, Sam and Jake, my guitarist and pianist, and recorded the acoustic version, uh, which seemed to go on to have a bigger audience than, than the original version, which Absolutely, was a bit Absolutely, yeah. Um, so it that was really very nice. Successful, really... Very successful, very yeah, successful. You know, we're looking really at well over 30,000, you know, downloads, which is brilliant. I mean, yeah, it's... it's got to be good for you too. Been crazy. Wow. We had a really warm reception to the acoustic video as well. We did a video mm -hmm. alongside of it, uh, which was really nice. So I've got some nice comments out of that. It's brilliant. To be honest, um, doing a few Zoom interviews with artists and bands, um, because of lockdown and because of the lack of performances, mm -hmm. it is all about the 360 content. Do you know what I mean? It is about, Absolutely. it's not just about the song anymore. It's about what you do for content, your videos, your visuals, your contact on social media. It's it's everything. So it's true. It, keeps everyone very busy doesn't it <laughs> absolutely you know i mean i'm one of those people that look for the visuals as well as the music in the artist that i love like as soon as adele releases a song she's got a music video that's banging towards it do you know what i mean yeah, like, absolutely. it comes out straight away i'm always looking for that so i think it's important to be more visual now as an artist you know yeah i think it's it's how we've had to adapt to be honest and it's mm, absolutely it's it's going to be the, the new normal without saying you know <laughs> too political but um tell us about your whitney houston Whitney Houston tribute as well, which was brilliant. Oh, do you know what? That was a bit mad, you know, because oh, it must have been about a week and a half ago, I contacted my guitarist and said, look, the anniversary is coming up for Whitney's death. I'm going to be a mess, but we need to do something, right? <laughs> so he got on to playing the chords for I Have Nothing over the phone. I remember I, at the last show we did in London, I think it was like last February or something, we got drunk after the show. <laughs> And went to an open mic and did I have nothing as like a just a fun thing on stage? You know, just got up and belted it out. Probably sounded a mess, but it's all good. Um, and that's a song that's always resonated with me. Mm. Um, since I was a kid, I was singing that in my bedroom from the age of five or six. Um, so it was nice to revisit that. And with the the anniversary of the death coming up as well, I said, you know, we need to do something. I've never done a cover and put it out in recent years for Whitney for anything. Mm. Um, we threw it together in probably three days, got into the studio, recorded it together, and then we recorded the video separately. So mm -hmm. I did mine and then he did his. So it was really nice. And the, and the feedback we got was was incredible. You know, that's someone I look up to and always have. And, you know, yeah, yeah. it was a really nice reception. Well, I have to say, it was fantastic. You really belted it out. Yeah. I'm sure she'll be looking down on you with pride there, Martin. Oh, it's brilliant. thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. How's your Love <laughs> Okay, well, the reason for catching you catching up with you today is because you've got a new release on its way. Um, yes. So we'll, we'll talk about dates and stuff separately, but tell us about this song. What's it called? What's it all about? What's the meaning behind it? Yeah, so the new release is called Yesterday. And I said it in my announcement video earlier in the week. It's a complete departure from Let Your Love or the acoustic version we, we put out last year. But it's a ballad. It's very dramatic. It's like if you're going to see Catherine Jenkins meet Pavarotti. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Throw a bit of George Michael in there as well, um, mm -hmm. just for good flavour. Um, but it's, it's a very real song and it, it resonates. We started writing this about, I don't know, about six or seven months ago. Mm -hmm. Me and my pianist Sam got into a studio in, in Hackney in London and um, recorded pretty much everything that day. It took us about eight hours to do it, but it's a very raw vocal, and that's what I wanted. When we was doing the mix, I was like, I wanted to be very in your face and, and, and truthful. You know, I wanted to resonate with people and really bring people into what the story's about. That's, that's what I wanted with this song. I feel like it's an experience and it's a story. You know, there's a, a big story behind it that's it's real. It's a big concept <laughs> song, isn't it? Big power, yeah, power ballad. Yeah, 100 Ooh, power ballad. All from a breakup. I tell you, Sam, they're great for songs, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody great. Well, this is it. I'm beginning to wonder about you, Martin. Do you know what's going on? <laughs> Just write a few love letters, that's all. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, sure. But, you know, and as well, talking to different artists, it's therapy, isn't it? You know, and it, yeah, it is it's, it. it's closure for a lot of things. But then it's you have to sing it forever. 
You have to keep <laughs> ah, no. really it. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if it, if it makes like two million on it. I've got to sing it when I'm retiring in Vegas doing my residency or something. There you go. You won't, you won't be crying sad tears then. The tears because you can re retire with your millions. So you know, Oh, you thinking about my ex on stage when I'm 60. My <laughs> God. <laughs> well, didn't Adele's ex try and do that? And she was like, nah, you're not having any of yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Good girl. Anyway, um, I just wanted to ask as well, is there any kind of performances planned or anything coming up? Any live streams, any any gigs? I know that's a bit of a optimistic ask, but is there anything coming up that we can uh, keep an eye out for? Yeah, so we was meant to perform at uh, Dead Wax in Digworth yeah. on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. oh, and then it was pushed back <laughs> um, to April the 11th is scheduled to go ahead, fingers crossed. Um, if not, we're going to we're going to sort some kind of live streaming out that day anyway. So there will be something happening that day regardless. Mm -hmm. um, and I've never done a live stream before. So it'd be, it'd be quite an experience and new for me to yeah. do that kind of intimate setting as well. You know, having people watch from home and stuff. But it'd be quite fun to do that. Fingers crossed we can go ahead with the with the physical audience though. <laughs> I'm missing know, it. Yeah. <laughs> well, artists are starting to do live streams now. And what I've noticed mm. is there's two things that are a bit awkward for them because and the live streams give you no warning that you're live. And so people are like, no. is, is it live? Have, have we got any comments on? going on? <laughs> the other thing is um, there's no applause or there's no gratitude after the song. So it's all a bit weird and silent. And you're like, OK, I'll just go to the next song. <laughs> yeah, so, you've got to go into the next song pretty yeah, quickly. So, so we, I feel such a shame for artists and stuff because it's like they've never <laughs> had to do that before, do you know? So it's, it is no. something new, but... It's something we might have to get used to. I mean, I I love being present at gigs and, yeah. you know, feeling people squashing me as we're trying to get to mm. the front and listening to live music. Because as you know, well, we visited yours at the Dark Horse last year. Yeah, of course. And do you know what? It was emotional for both you and us because we just hadn't heard live music for so long. It so was long. really emotional, wasn't it? It was. I was crying, like, during, after. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there with my whiskey afterwards. We're like, ah. I know, yeah, but it was, it was just so nice, honestly, and I can't wait to get back Lovely. to that. But anyway, yeah. new release, we'll be listening out for that then, Martin, okay? I'll let Absolutely. everyone know when the release date is, and we can always check you out on the story, on your stories on Instagram, um, yes. check you out on your website, it's, what's, your what's your tag on Instagram for everybody? Instagram is Martin Yates Music, Martin with an I, most people forget, it's, it's not with the Y, I always get, <laughs> is it a Y or an I? It's an I. <laughs> Uh, but that's across the board. Uh, yeah. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube is all the same. Martin Yates Music. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us today, Martin. All right. Thank you very much for having me. See you soon. See you later. <laughs>